Alright, how's it going guys? It's Helen here, and today back here with more Majiko. So, in, this, in the last episode, we actually beat um, one of the top well, top students, I guess, in top t in class 2S? 2S or 2F, I can't remember which one we are. But either way, we beat them in the bet by technically cheating, let's face it. So, let's get off the show now and see what more we can do. Everyone was free to do their own thing at night in the Shizu Shimazu dorm. Me? I was busy reading the book I borrowed from Captain. That must have been a nice bath, Chris. Hot springs are wonderful. I would take a bath twice a day if I could. Are you fitting in at school? I believe I am. Everyone is so nice to me. I see. That's great news. What is that book in your hand? It's a book on psychological tricks. Captain read it out of curiosity. I think he liked it. It's interesting to me though. Psychological tricks, you say? When I read to say a blood pumping story of good triumphing, triumphing over evil. Those are good too. I want to read this right now. To trick someone is to receive someone. Deceiving is an evil act. You must behave fairly, Yamato. Having said a piece, she went back upstairs. Hmm. Chris really is a problem, child. So those are the keeps coming into my room like she owns the place. I'm more of a gloomy spirit inhabiting the corner. She actually sat in the corner and started reading. I feel like you were haunting me more than inhabiting. Hey, I was also your wife in the previous life. So tell me, what were we, what were we in our previous lives? <laughs> Moles, I think. We weren't even a human. We continued to joke around about nothing as the night grew late. Okay, we're on April 28th now, on a Tuesday. Breakfast at the Shimazu dorm. A western breakfast with toast is very nice so often. Do you want some coffee, Chris? Thank you. Could you also have some milk and sugar? Sure. Do it, Cookie. Leave it to me. Why do you sound so proud when Cookie's doing all the work? Doesn't the thought of boring something up make you feel funny? Nope. If you're still, so, still, so, if you're still half asleep, go wash your face. Mayuchi. Could you pass me the soy sauce? <laughs> ah, yes, I am Azui Yuki. We'll stop at nothing to hand you the soy sauce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here you go, Yamato-san. Huh, <laughs> thanks. I was helpful. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> The hell? You're insane, Freshie. Mayuchi, let's go to school together. We'll meet in front of the hall. Oh, uh, okay. Um, are you sure he wants to go with me? Wrong question. The right one is... Why would you leave before it's yesterday? Stop being so reserved. You should join us too, Jensan. Screw that. My ears would die from all your yapping. Yamato, I'm about to eat a sausage. What about it? Be quiet. <laughs> Life's so much louder now. Damn it all. Oh, we're the first one here, Miyuchi. 
Yes. I would devote myself to attending school together with you all. Hmm, you're really stiff. Mayuchi looked at me patiently, with puppy dog eyes. It could be fun to mess with her. I thought. I... Surprise her to, surprise her to break the ice, tickle her to break the ice, make her tell a joke to break the ice. These two are probably a bit over the top, but not too sure. Probably that one. Miyuchi, do you have any good jokes? Huh? <laughs> uh, a joke? Yeah, a joke. I need to call a strategy meeting. Yo, I got this. This is gonna be good. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't expect to be given such a difficult challenge this quickly. Mayuchi, we make him laugh and be one way ticket to being popular. <laughs> that does sound tempting. So it ended her one woman, one woman meeting. Th then here I go with my sharpest joke. Go ahead. Can you eat a 100 yen coin? The punchline better not be. I sure co um sure coin. I sure uh. uh no strategy meeting. What? Mayuchi, you legit figured out the punchline. What should I do, Mats Matsukazi? Any good ideas? Nope, looks like I'm done for. M M Matsukazi, N no way. Who's was whispering to herself. Was she alright? <laughs> oh. I think I made this worse. But please punish me. I deserve it. Uh, I'd never punish you. I felt like I'd bullied her. By the time Miyuchi calmed down, everyone was here. Let's get going. There's so much more eye candy now, and I like it. The guy, the guys were just me, Captain G um, Gakuto. You have a free wall, girls. We're headed off to school. What did you eat this morning, Gaguto? Steak is what I have for breakfast. That's way too heavy for breakfast. N nice. Why are we going to have a meet in the morning at the dorm? I'm going to school with everyone. This is a high level friendship event. I'm so happy. You barely ate anything, Chris. Can you make it to lunch? Hmm. I cook back on breakfast so that when I get a bit hungry. Ta da! I have these four dishes that I eat in Nari sushi, besides the one in my lunch. Chris beamed as she showed her small box of two in uh, small box of Ivy sushi. You are as vulnerable as Japanese tourists. You say the strangest things. Wow, that looks tasty. Give me one. Hey, I did not give you permission to eat one. Whoa, that's good. Then I shall have one as well, along with pickled ginger. <laughs> How rude of you. The second G Gaguta reached into the box, she launched a kick at him. <laughs> Gaguta's airborne. That was a pretty sharp German, um, German kick. I think I'll combo him in the air. Ouch, that one-two strike hurts. 
Finally, Goku crashed into the ground. Ouch. <laughs> but it was all worth the pain. He still managed to get one in the end. Even after getting blasted, they made sure to hang on to the Inari. Yo. Suddenly, Nissan passes my head from behind. Oh. An early morning Inari party? I'll eat some too. How did you move so fast? Wait, you took two? Hmm, they're good. Bro, Miyako, tissues? The tyrant demanded we wipe our hands. Fine, if you don't clean you, nobody else will. Sis, is this how you like it? Yeah, you were sexually cute this morning, Miyako. Get ready for me to rub my cheeks against yours. Yamato, we have a pervert on our hands. Perverted and proud of it. I even watch JV for fun. Please don't. J-A-V? Want to watch me next time? It can be just the two of us. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. okay. Oh, hey now. It's a bit too early to try corrupting her, senpai. <laughs> also, describe the girls in those videos. Asking for your little bro, perhaps? Get your head out of the gutter. Let's keep it clean here. The only person who might whose mind went there, Miyako. I'm worried. Things should be this bad for our family this early. The conversation only turned sexual after you showed up, Momo Senpai. Good morning, everyone. Hey, yeah. Momo ever ever has calming influence arrived. Now it's enough to turn things back to normal. They of us continue briskly along. Classes are so boring. I know, right? Half our class simply sleeps through it. Japan's so boring. I know, right? Half the diet simply sleeps through their secession. Our conversation wandered aimlessly. The sin is out in full force as to cast a bless blessing upon my future. <laughs> you do know it's going to rain afternoon, right? Man, stop that. He chopped at her. I'm not a man, I'm a woman in love. She blocks the attack. Mayu, mayu. <laughs> mayu, mayu. She's slight. She lightly touched her. Uh, hey. yeah, yes. <laughs> You're a really good woman. You want to go to a public bathroom together? <laughs> <laughs> Memo Senpai seems to be going for her, and hard. Hard? I'd hardly even started. Okay, hit it, Kakuto. Follow with that D sound. D. Damn, I'm handsome. Next is an M sound. Mine forever. Rejection continues. May you should give us something that starts with an S sound. Taser Boma. 
She's trying so hard as a newcomer. She's like a light bulb. The more you polish her, the more she will shine. Comedically, anyways. She is the kind of girl you want to treat right. As long as the giants don't poach her when she's ready for the big leagues. Of course, I'm talking about the ones from a famous fantasy manga. Not some sports team. You really fought hard on that one. You've earned yourself the right to stare passionately at Yamato. <laughs> nah, could it help? What's wrong, Chris? Do you need to uh, go to the bathroom? That, no, heavens no. In truth, she explained everything that happened. You let them take all of you in Ari Sushi? That was careless of you. Am I a fault in this? I am unconvinced. Personally, when I bought some Odin at the corner store a few days ago, I bought some extra Odin. Was anyone want any? I'll take kelp and burdock with beef. Thanks. Give me the white radish and, those, and some deep tea noodles. Hand over the boiled egg, plus the pounded fish cake. Fish sausage and fried tofu for me. Matt the Ace wants some stuffed rolled cabbage and red fish pa pa um, pasty. pasta. Where they want paste. Fucking hell. What about the sausage and octopus? Also, give me the broth while you're at it. Lots of broth. By the time I knew what was happening, all I had left was an empty bowl. The lesson is that it's dangerous to present food before growing children. When people in our group make that mistake, we're like vultures. Understood. As you keep that in mind for future reference. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just happy to help out. You said I've gone over losing your food. Of course, this is an Inari we're talking about. Hold up, don't get angry with me. I'll summon someone who'd be more suitable match. I blew the dog whistle. That's the sound of an arrest whistle. Are you a constable? Use this whistle to call one of our friends. See? There. Wanko came sprinting over. <laughs> Morning, you called me. You called him dog whistles. <laughs> I see. That's why blowing one caused dog, caused dog to come running. I can't believe how readily he accepted something this unrealistic. She's the type who thinks, who thinks seeing is believing. You can summon dog whenever you will. So, what? In winter, you can use it as a hot blanket. Stick it between your legs and she keep your feet warm. But you better not turn over in your sleep, got it? You will always have someone to fight with, Chris. I'm not as hot-headed person as that. I am sick that you think I like to fight, Yamato. Wanko Chris wants an early morning fight with you. Hey! Oh, you have extra energy too? Okay. I could fight if I wished, yes. I have no desire. You love, to, you love to give excuses, Kiryu. Is that the German national pastime? 
<laughs> Name the contest. The two really were hitting it off. Momo senpai, senpai, look like you have so much trouble in on your mind. I'm mm just -hmm. about which one of the girls here I'd like to marry if I were a guy. <laughs> Why did I even ask? You'd be surprised how people look troubled when they're only thinking about something really silly. So who'd you end up choosing? Wanko's out, no matter my gender. So she's out, and Wanko's my sister, no matter my gender. Miyako's faithful, but she's sure to get mad if I'm playing around at night. You're gonna play around at night? I still want to womanize in Horinotsu, Yoshiwari, and Kabukucho. So I'm stuck torn between Kuri and Meio Meu. It's weird. This is a super conversation, and yet, I'm feeling jelly. That side of you is so cute, Miyako. Maybe I do want a harem. We walked on, and we reached the bridge. Brother, ain't that there the Kawakami Mayo Mayo? Mayo? Yeah, she's right beautiful, as the rumor says. I might give her a perfect score. Look at those Mustasu Muslo guys. Let's be here to challenge you. Any of the Kawakami Mayo Mayo? What's it to you? With the Nile brothers? We're right famous back home. We're looking for a strong wife that can give a successor to our dojo. Kawakami Moe Moe, okay. Come along and be our wife. Our wife? The world did not need two more muscle bound gaku to like idiots. Heh, I'm obviously a smarter, nicer guy than them. Are you here to fight or find the wife? We ain't got to fight. You all know we'd win. We just figured to find the wife, people would do us both. How can anyone be as rude as you? They are no challenges. This is the time for me to strip my stuff. I shall drive them away. Huh? You think of me a student like you? Has a chance against me? Ow. That's all you've got? What? Here's a taste of a real punch. A goose to hit him square square on with a full body's blow. You son of a You can barely stand. Did you catch that? Tell me you saw that. You haven't been taking all that blows from nothing. His resistance is really something thanks to us. Hey, no wisecracks from the peanut gallery. Curry, you want dibs on either one? I would. The hell of justice shall fall upon this wretch. Wait, you didn't bring a weapon. I do not need it. Not against a mere thug. Huh, what are you gonna do, girlie? You ain't even got boobs yet. What? A girl that ain't got boobs ain't no woman. You. You'll pay for that. How are you so fast? Why is Kuri so upset with the size of her breasts? You'll be half as calm if they were talking about you. Take this. Galleon Lariat. Ugh, you're good. 
You're a right more beautiful and powerful man than me. You're strong. But I'm just too nice for you. So how about it? I won, guys. Nice one, Kuri. You beat him in a second. That was excellent. I admire how strong you are in armed. Not bad. You did decent. Yeah, not bad. Huh? When did the guy get beat? We're already all, all about how fast Chris beat her opponent. No, one of my, why must my glorious victory be ignored? Well, cheer up. Here, I've got some flat pot for you. You've had this in your bag for weeks. I don't want it. Still good, Guto. I'm impressed you defeated the martial artists. The morning never got boring. Yo, you idiots, all together again. Well, hold up. Ain't there more of you than there was last time? What do you think of our new friends? He was wondering how long your idiots would stay together. And here you are with two more. I never saw this coming. But it's good to see. Or you getting along. Don't get caught don't go causing any trouble. Is that how people see us? It sucks how we can't deny it. Third period breaks in class 2F. Ah, this fucking sucks. I picked the hangnail and now my fingers totally swollen. Ugh. That's why you don't pick at them, you cut them. Anyway. Chris's skin is way, is way too pretty. <laughs> Do you think so? Yes, it's soft, smooth, and white. What kind of cream do you use? I never spared it much for, actually. You just naturally like that? Uh, there goes my self-confidence. Chris, I got this feeling you are so going to be my rival. You should punch her for that, Chris. Chris was getting along with her classmates. But she still would snap at me. All I did was see her changing. That's not a big deal, right? No, it's a pretty huge deal. Figures. But that's not the only reason, is it? Maybe you approach the world too differently. Now, oh, what are you doing now? One, two, Three, four, five, six. Wonka was off by herself, lifting weights. Lunch time. I had a song come from the speakers. It was radio hour. Listen to the radio. Hi, anybody. Any narcissists out there who have a picture of themselves as their phone's wallpaper? It's after this week's episode of Love Carol Kami. Your hosts are me, the smooth sophomore, um, you know, June. And a woman whose life's goal is to surround herself with beautiful girls. Senior Kawakami Mayoyo. Man, it's getting hot lately. No, it hasn't. Come on, play along. Wherever it... whatever. Let's just open up the mailbag. I'm in a good mood right now, so I'll read one. Jun-san, please take yourself into a clinic for your unhealthy love of children. Even the listeners are making fun of you. A clinic? Maybe a pediatrician's office. Say one more indecent thing and dislocate in your bones. Okay, letter number two. If you could take one thing with you that, to a desert island, what would it be? Saying I just swim home would be cheating, huh? I assume so. Let's just assume we're stuck there. I'll take my friends. I'll take a young girl. One whose chest is starting to bloom. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, she did warn you. This is a violent radio program. 
I was relaxing when. Hey, Yamato. That class S girl from yesterday wants to talk to you. Huh? You mean that girlfriend at the gambling den? Yeah. The one you want to tie up and make cry. What a waste of time. Why do you want to compete at this compete at this time? It's not about gambling. She wants to see you on the roof. Well, if I don't go, everyone will call me a chicken. Guess I don't have a choice. Wonko, Miyako, want to come? Yes, Master. I'll guarantee your safety. If it looks like the fight's gonna break out, you can count on me. What gives you, Mato? Why would you call me the tough guy? You fought this morning. Let me have a turn. On the roof. Welcome. I admire your courage. Why call me here? Wait, you're not about to ask me out, are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would I do that? Look at you blush. That's not funny. Excuse me. I mean, it's formally challenge you to a duel. I'm not really down for that. I'll not be the one fighting you. I'll leave that to you, my champion. Crush him, Ayo Kun. Ayo? Ayo Tuma? His test scores were always at the top of the class. I can never refuse a quest from someone as cute as you. All he has can be turned into a hug. With payment in advance, he threw his arms around her. Ayo Kun? I, de I dedicate this victory to you. Simply wait and watch. Uh huh. Very well. Who is that thing? It's making me angry. Hello, Naokun. I believe this is the first time I've gone to speak face to face. We've run in these rooms many times at the other gambling den. I am Aotoma from 2S. It's a pleasure to meet you properly. Yamato, nice to meet you too. Oh, Kyokun's just so cool. The one is one of the elegant quattro. What are you doing here? I want to give him my ain virginity. Okay. The girls were getting excited. I love women. Nobody asked. I also like men. Absolutely nobody asked that. I have no grudge against you, yet fate demands this belt. By all means, let us compete to the let us compete. To the winner will get a sum equal to twice that much the girls lost yesterday. A duel, huh? Yes. I've been called upon to revenge my classmate. Just picturing Yamato taking this creep power is making me hard. What's the contest? If it's something physical, I'm gonna call it in the call in the proxy. I am Yamato's sword, Kawakami Kawakami Kazuko. I shall defeat his enemies. And I am Yamato's sheep. Yuna Miyako, I shall lovingly embrace his sword. I paused for a moment to smack Miyako in the head. <laughs> I prefer to use my brains over another brawn. I guess that's one way we were alike. You think we were alike? Oh, you flirt. <laughs> Yamato, this man smells like a pervert. You can identify your kind by scent. Hmm, that's the bell. Lunch break's over. Let's sell this here, school. With pleasure. Thank you for accepting my challenge. Deciding on when and where to meet, it sounds wonderfully familiar to a date. Had he already begun his mental assault? Mental assault? Do you mind if I lovingly call you Yamato-san? Yes, I would mind. Keep it to nail san if, if nothing else. That troubled expression of yours is simply the, um, the... Lectable. I was barely ignoring every terrifying thing he said. Fifth period break, 2F strategy meeting. I've always wanted to face off against Ao Tuma. He always came out ahead of gambling then. I wanted to see how I'd measure up. So it's time to gather information. Ao Tuma, class 2S. He's the only son, he's the only son of the director of the Oyuman Hospital, the biggest hospital in the Kawakami city. He has the highest test score in our year, and he's even in the top 10 in the national wide exams. 
Yeah, he's hot and kind. So he's one of the top three most popular guys in school. Plus he's smoking hot. <laughs> you just called him hot twice. In the end, women always fall back on looks. Damn, just thinking about it, it's giving me a boner. Everything gives you a boner. What's next? The shape of a soda bowl? Just hearing the word cherry turns me on. <laughs> how do you even function day to day? By the way, how are you going to compete? You can't beat him in looks. My looks are nothing to scoff at. But what I'd say there's a 0.5 game difference between us. You think so? You need to shift the dimensional point a few spaces. Am I beating him that badly? I had no idea. Could you please not be that full of yourself just this once? You think I'm that conscientious? That's why you're so in insignificant. You, c you gotta believe in yourself. He's right. You just laid into people all day. Shit, laid? That's an R rated word right there. Could someone please tell that rutting monkey to either go find the mate or at, at the zoo or shut up? Young Patchy, here's something to fantasize about. What? Go talk it out with the other girl guys in the back. The topic is that your daughter brings home her boyfriend. I mean, you obviously killed the boyfriend, killed him at least 20 times, then write rapists on his forehead. That's pretty extreme. If that happened in real life, I'd be pretty depressing. Wait, hold on. We must first determine whether or not the girl is related to you by blood. Hmm. What? You have anything to say, Miyako? It's nothing. If something's on your mind, say it. But why worry about that? You're never gonna have children anyway. You. You have to stab a dagger through my chest. That was uncalled for, you fries damned 3D woman. <laughs> you guys are all sad. She just told you. Why are you acting like you're different? You got Nail too. Why did you begin to go go out with Aotuma? Ogasawa san? Totally. He's like a diamond in the rough. Hmm. <laughs> You treat a man as objects. Why does any one of the more dimension ruin all appeal and creates a ragging bitch? A raging bitch. Why is Rose so bold? He said them from awfully far away. Did that box of Crete say what I think he said? Oi, oi. Hey, no fighting. Chris, it's alright. Mm hmm? I had to calm down the, the officer of the peace who had arrived at the scene before things turned a bit unpleasant. Do you know anything about Ayo? Just that he's always hanging out with that skinhead. Oh, and I heard he likes Western music. Like Black Plant um like Black Planet and a girl told me he sung it in English at karaoke. That's cool. Anything else? Black Planet? Guess what? The same music. He's humble, so he's decently popular among the guys too. Thanks. That's all the information needed to make a profile of him. I think I can win. Just because he's the smartest and our grade doesn't mean I have to start shaking in my boots. Tuma can call and all, but seriously, screw 2S. So I'm glad my information helped. Can I watch the duel? It sounds interesting. You can do whatever you want. I'll take my friends to come too. I've got me other things to take care of. I'll be back later. The next class starts in 5 minutes. 5 minutes is more than enough. I'll start with the Tanshi-kun. Okay. After school, curious onlookers from class F and S miled around the area. Oh wow, that's a lot of girls you brought there. Where's how the dozen that is back? You on the other hand seem to have obtained quite the popularity from the guys. They just hate to see you lose. This year certainly promises to be exciting. 
they will place his badge on the ground. Now, let us duel. I put my badge on top of his. I accept your challenge. So it began. Kick his ass. Let me call the girls' room for him to shut up. Yeah, make him look lame. All my supporters just jealous of him when looking at his. <laughs> Tumokun, good luck. Beat class F. The whole class is just yunk. Is just yuck. I feel like I've already lost. You knew the person out of school with such an unbashed fan club was Nissan. Come on, you can do it, Nayuchi. Oh, so I do have a girl cheering me on. Good luck to you too, Kuma. Uh, to uh, his name. You're honest to a fault. She glanced left and right. Whew. I don't think Kuki Kun's here. We agreed to compete in, in, intellectually, though we never did agree on what. Given they have no showing up to watch, we might as well show them a good time. You're such an entertainer, but the same thought did occur to me. So, what do we do? I looked around the rooftop. I did bring an own, own up a pack of cards and a steward box of dice, in case they were necessary. I am fond of those sort of games. It would be hard for the spectators to follow along. True enough, and in the print world can see the results. We're outdoors, let's think of something else. Besides, I'm not trusting anything you brought. Hmm, what about... Oh. Look down at the sports field. The track team had begun their after school practice. You like gambling? How about this? The track team is, is timing the runners, right? Yes, they always practice very hard. You want to be on who out of the four in the last group will win? Let's see. A simple horse race, is it? That'd be interesting. However, there are plenty of other people on the grounds, so many other possibilities for a bet. Ayo's eyes never looked away from mine as he spoke. I'm open to suggestions. Hmm, the track team does seem like it would be the most thrilling. Let's go with your proposal. Good, I like the way you roll. So slow down, Ayochi. Are you sure you do that? It's a game of pure luck. So you would think, um, Karen. That's not quite true. Well, you know my nickname? Are you familiar with the term paddock? It's where you check the condition of racehorses before they run. Likewise, the correct strategy here is to observe the four races to determine who is most physic um, psych physicked up. Therapy increases the odds of victory. Yeah, and this is... And this way, we all enjoy the race. They'll be running in the race after the next one. Good, there's plenty of time to deliberate. Those four all from Class B. The best way to get an advantage would be the, would be to already know their best times. Now it's practice heats, then you usually run against people with similar times. Alright, oh, then that makes things tougher. Though this is trickery, I believe I, I believe I made up my mind. Hmm. I agree it's tricky, but okay, I've made my choice too. I should bet on the guy closest to us, the one with the short, spiky hair. He is not my usual type, but I can see on his face he desires to win. I'll go with the guy furthest from us, the one with the long hair and the man bun. Hmm, I'm glad to see you chose differently. This would be fun. However, I fear your choice has little hope of winning. Look, he's yawning. It's clear he has no desire to run. He will switch gears when it's time to race. So you go for the long shots. That is wonderful, Nao san From the looks of you, I get the feeling Nao kun's right. Huh? Really? Did I screw up? Alas, the race is about to start. Well, well whatever. He could still surprise us. Uh, I am so losing faith in you right now. It's okay, Chi Karen. Take a closer look at Yamato. See how he's smiling? He's pretty sure he's, he's, that's to hide his embarrassment. Nope. He only smiles like that when he's got something up his sleeve. Why do you sound so proud? Oh, they're off. Wow. Long hair guides off to the quick start. Yes. Today's my lucky day. As if. I already worked things out with the track team since their field was in full view, full view of the roof. 
the group winning now were, were easy bribes. Everything had gone smoothly. I found out their schedule for today. Since they were simply setting personal times, it was easy enough to ask for one race to be a little less fair from the others. Specifically, the long-haired guy was far quicker than the other races. It was just a fan of gambling that I knew he would stink his teeth as anything similar to horse racing. And the long-haired guy could do it if he tried. Ayo Tuma, I win. It's still too early to tell. Wait, what? Hey, long-haired guy suddenly put on the brakes. Hey, the spiky-haired guy just pulled ahead. Huh? And now we just crossed the finish line. What gives? I... lost? That was so close, I felt chills for a moment. Your ratings were perfect, so why? This would be my victory. Money was the only thing these guys cared about. They had betrayed me. Basking in the wind, Ao came up close to me and whispered in my ear. When I went to bribe them and learned that you had already made the move, I was surprised. I knew it. He had bought them out. So thanks to that, I had to spend far more money than I anticipated. After all, I had given them a better, better offer than yours. Shit. He wasn't just some rich kid. He got an, he'd gotten an edge on me. He had selected hesitant so he could watch and enjoy my reaction. What a swell guy. I quite enjoyed that little duel. He got me this time. I raised my hand. The two runners stretching on the field, the guy practicing high jumps, and the tennis player all noticed and gave a a clip sigh. This signal meant we weren't gambling on them, so there wouldn't be any shared winnings. Goodness. You arranged so much in a short span of time. But I was also able to prepare the cards, making arrangements for the track team took the rest of my time. <laughs> what? Nao san, I believe I have very similar minds. I think you're right, Ewatuma. There were no way the cards and dice hadn't been a trap in it somehow. <laughs> I'll get my revenge someday. I'll look forward to it. Oi, oi, oi. Hey, hey, hey. Huh? Why well, does it feel like somewhat? Why does it feel like one of one of those times when you say too much to a girl and she starts bawling? Instead of the classmates who had come to watch Stung. Well, it's a game. Everyone's impression of you would have gone down on one rank. If had you won, you unlocked a special scene. You lost me on that one. In the end, you lost. That's so totally lame. The mist of the fire shall be awoken, a light from the shadows shall spring, renewed shall the blade that was broken. The, the crownless again shall be... You failed us, Hectician. I believed in you. <laughs> it's scary how fast our class turns on you when you lose. Now suppose we'll be going. Hold up. Hmm? Beating Yamato ain't easy. So play with me too. Cap? <laughs> Yamato is my friend. I won't take his loss sitting down. I myself appear as the average classmate. The Avenger classmate. I suppose one last match would be, would be appropriate. Hold up. You don't need to fight twice, young master. I'll do it. My injury from lunch has already healed. Huh? But I'm going to have two ra round two. Good, very good. Two consecutive wins will shatter two as pride. A number woman such as myself could ask for nothing more. You're a fast runner, right? I've heard rumors about you. <laughs> yeah, I'm even faster when I'm running away. I'm pretty confident too. Let's race, damn it. You're on. Let's say the winner gets whatever Yamato just lost. I didn't win that money. Let's go with half that. That's fine. I'll get back I'll get back what I lost myself. Besides, if you won half of what I'd lost, added what I've won from Fukushima, we'll be at net even. Alright, we'll get half now and half later. We have a second duel. The spectators from both sides erupted in cheers. Let's go down and grab the field. Hold on, you can use the school gate from here, right? Yeah, easy. How about we start here and make the school gate the finish line? I'm really fast. I did this all the time in elementary school. Until I was sent to the nurse's office, they call me five step jumper June. 
If this leads to the nervous office, didn't that mean you screwed up? I'm down with that. Let's do it. Let's inform the teachers of such. Why'd you let him play to his strengths? The more he is confident, the more he's going to be devastated when he's crushed. Cap looked completely composed. A duel was soon taking place on the rooftop of Building B. The event is a race from the rooftop to a Building B to the school gate. Any students along their route are asked to quickly step out of the way. Wow, they wasted no time with that. Alright, let's get this party started. Sorry, but Class S is about to win twice in a row. Um, Class F Class Rep, can I ask you something? Yes? What is it? will not you watch my glorious victory? He had passion in his eyes. Huh? Here comes another creep. Your interests never do change, June. Alright, on your marks? I guess they'll be calling in the start for us. The race has moved into position at, at the starting line. Ready? Set, go! Rocket start! Ford is sprinting full speed towards the stairs, inside the building. Check this out. I'm going to jump five steps at a time, the whole way down. He screamed and disappeared from view. As for Cap... Oh, he really is fast. He was still at the starting line. What are you doing, Cap? You have to hurry. Did you surrender? I mean, taking the sand is too lame. it will do better than that to be a guy as fast as free as the wind. Kept a cough, but in the opposite direction. No way is he going to. Time to fly. Without a hint of hesitation, Kept jumped out of the window. That's absurd. We're on the fifth floor. Everyone ran over to the ledge and peered down. The sea kept sliding down the tree. He jumped onto the tallest tree. He has to be like crazy to think of that, let alone do it. Yeah, he did it effortlessly. That shortcut all he but guaranteed him the win. Huh? How'd you get in front of me? When June came out of the building and saw that he had what happened, he was less surprised than the rest of us. He sprinted after Cap, trying to catch up, but Cap had quickly legged, quick legged himself. I'm the gust, the gale, the tempest, the typhoon, the whirlwind, the hurricane, the hellst the hellstrom. I'm the wind. Nothing in this world can catch me. Damn, I can't catch him. Cap plays over the goal line and and past the goal line and out of the sight around the corner. Wait, where's he going? He won. A few moments later, he sent a text. Headed to work, grab the money for me. It really is like a passing storm. We went back to 2F, where everyone kept talking about Cap. Kazama really did blow my mind. The second he takes the field, it's impossible to imagine him losing. The 2F jerks are equally dumbfounded that brought peace to my heart. Kazama is just so totally cool. I am so not giving up on him. He truly seems like a friend you can rely on. Yeah, really. That's why he's our leader. He completely erased my loss. But I know I wouldn't feel better until I formally defeated Ao myself. Next time will be different. Alright, with that being said, I'm going to be ending this episode here. So if you guys are enjoying this, I hope you leave a like and it really helps me out. That being said though, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care guys, and thank you so much for watching.